What's up, guys? So I think the hardest part about knowing how to cook is that you can cook whatever and whenever you would like, and uh, sometimes that gets the best of you. But for the past few years, we've really been trying to watch our carb intake and eat healthier, and I think this meal is perfect for that. So I'm gonna start by cubing up a couple of these beautiful chuck roasts. This meal is actually gonna go into the Instant Pot today, and this will help things go a little smoother. Normally here we'd use some kosher salt or something a little coarser grain, but we got a hold of some very, very nice pink Himalayan, so I figured, eh, why not use it here? Just make sure to rotate the meat and get it on all sides. I'm gonna go in with a little fresh cracked black pepper. And finish it off with some garlic powder. So now we're going to move over to the Instapot. In the bottom I've just got a little olive oil and we're going to go ahead and layer these guys in here to get a good sear on them. Now right about here is probably where I would stop. I'd let these guys run in batches, get some good color on all sides, but we had some not so patient little ones so we had to get it done. I'm going to move in with our vegetable mixture, which is just carrots, mushrooms, onions, and garlic. Add in a little bit of that powdered gold nor chicken bouillon and some more fresh cracked black pepper. We'll get that lid on and move over to the cauliflower. Yes, I said cauliflower. This meal goes with some mashed cauliflower. I know, I know. Mashed cauliflower doesn't sound that appealing, but if it's made right, it can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with even the best of mashed potatoes. I'm gonna start by knocking off all these leafy bits. And then get my knife in there to carve around that core. We just need to knock the florets off. They don't really need to be too small since we're gonna boil these. Now that that's good to go, we're going to move back over to the stove where I've got a pot of boiling water. I'm just going to go ahead and add in a little salt and get these guys in. They can take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, but you're really just looking for them to be completely soft. So moving on here, we're going to make some cheddar herb biscuits with a product that we've just recently came across. It's called Carb Quick. It's a lower carb flour. Um, the box says it's keto friendly, although I'm sure it's probably not the best of choices for keto. It, it gets the job done. So for the most part, we're just following the recipe that's on the box. Right on the back, there's recipes for pizza, waffles, biscuits. So we're using some of that Kerrygold aged cheddar. It is fantastic. If you haven't had a chance to try it, definitely pick some up. Our Walmart carries it, as well as our smaller chain store around here, Safeway. It's like 4 or $5 for a smaller block, but it is well worth the money. Now normally I know you wouldn't egg wash biscuits, but I went ahead and did that on these, and you'll see a little towards the end of this video. They came out looking quite beautiful. So moving back to the cutting board, we're just going to break down two more large cloves of garlic. We're going to use this to start the mashed cauliflower. Usually I thin slice my garlic for just about everything, but for this application it doesn't matter too much since it's going to get pureed. Now that our cauliflower is nice and soft, we went ahead and drained it out. We're just going to add in enough olive oil to coat the bottom, as well as a few tablespoons of butter, the garlic we just prepped. And personally, I like to add in black pepper right here. I feel like it kind of perfumes the oil a little bit. Once everything starts to look foamy like this and the garlic is slightly toasted, we're going to add in about half a cup of heavy cream, as well as the rest of our Kerrygold aged cheddar, and let it simmer for a few minutes until everything starts to thicken. Once that happens, we're going to add in our softened cauliflower and get in there with our immersion blender. Now I suppose you could use a traditional potato masher, it's just going to take a few minutes longer, but this guy makes things so much easier. Man, watching this back in the edit is making me so hungry again. Cauliflower mash really is something special hey there's those biscuits we were talking about earlier the egg wash really made them look pretty and I think that's it guys I know this one was a little different 
but this dish was too damn good not to do a video on. We just wanted to say that we appreciate every single one of you guys and to thank you all for the love that we've been getting on our shorts content. I know we're still very early on in our YouTube journey and we're still learning, but all the positivity and love that you guys have given us is what's going to keep us chugging along and we're glad you get to come with us. Come give us a follow over on Instagram or TikTok. We'd like to start doing more behind the scenes vloggy type content over there and leave YouTube for our bigger projects. But again, we appreciate you all. And until next time, guys, keep it chaotic.